G'day guys, what's cracking? To Aussie here again. So here's the deal. Today, we're going to do a little something for everyone. We're going to go to Macca's, we're going to get a double fillet of fish, and we're going to the local takeaway store. This one's in Lithgow, I have been there before, called Busy Corner. And we're going to grab, if nothing else, some potato scallops, or potato cakes, if that's what you want to call it. You do you, boo-boo. And we'll get a drink from there, so... We'll support a local, buy a bit of stuff there. I might even grab a little bit extra just for that reason. And we'll be going to Macca's. So we're going to get a fillet of fish, a double fillet of fish, and we're going to whack a couple of the potato scallops on it and see how it hits. I reckon it'll hit in a good way. This is something I've been wanting to do for a little while now, just haven't got around to it. So nothing new, nothing spectacular, just a little random thing to see how this goes. So I'm going to... Go to Busy Corner, we'll grab the scallops and whatnot, because we know that'll stay hotter. Then I'll head up the road to Macca's, which isn't far from there, and we'll grab our double fillet of fish, then find somewhere to park. We'll do our little experimentation. I reckon this is going to be phantasmagorical. I can't wait. Let's get it. What can I get for you? Hi, can I just pick up order GF43, thanks? GF43, yeah, we'll Thank you. All good? Thanks. So I got the goods from Busy Corner. I won't tell you what's in here yet, but we did get our potato scallops, that's the main thing, and our Bevragino. Yeah, sure. No worries. Looks like we gotta wait. Here comes the goods. Hey, well, so thanks for that. that You're right, thanks. That's it, guys. We got everything. The whole kick and caboodle. Let's go and munch out, I gotta tell ya. I got a bloke size hunger. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. Grab the old tray. Now, I haven't looked at what's in this package from Busy Corner. You do know I was getting the scallops, but I went in there and they had a sweet little meal deal with a burger, chips, and a beverageino, of course. And I asked the lady if I got that meal, meal deal with a burger. I'm pretty sure it's just a plain burger. Can I swap the chips out for potato scallops? And she said, certainly. And I said, well, how many scallops would that be? And she said, three. So that's pretty good because I wanted three. <laughs> three or four. Anyway, so I thought also we spent a little bit extra now. The meal deal, 11 bucks. The <laughs> filial fish. $7.20, so guys, $18.20 all up. Let's Now, you know I like to share these moments with you. I haven't actually opened this yet or looked at it. As you can see, it was sealed. So let's check it out. Oh, they're a bit shrimpy, but I ended up with four. But having said that, let me say this. I'm not expecting the fillet of fish to be very big, so they'll be probably a good size for it. So the burger, it's even got its own little nappy. Four actual scallops, even though two are shrimpy, two are average. That you expect that. And good thing they chucked an extra one in to make up for it. And let's check out the old double fillet of fish. Now I can't can't lie, that actually feels a bit weighty. <laughs> it's probably no, it doesn't now that, it, that I'm not holding the bag. But anyway, let's open it up and check it out. So that's it. Your double fillet of fish or fillet, whichever one you like to call it. You do you. 
there it is nice and cheesy so guys I'm gonna let's see how big they are so that'll fit on there that'll be pretty good let's assemble this thing so I bought a plate along with me just to try and make this a little bit easier it's gonna be a bit hard to do it all in boxes we'll whack that guy on there ditch that now like I said I'm pretty sure this is a plain hamburger what a big bun <laughs> Let's get the old potato scallops out. Actually, what I might do is put two of these on there, and those two can go on this one. So let's do it. Let's do the assemblage. See how they hit, especially this guy. I reckon just before we tuck in, I should put a little bib on because I'm expecting this to get very messy. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Bibs, nappies, it's like being a child again. Not that that's going to do much, but hopefully it will. Here it is, guys. We'll do a little carousel first and then we will devour this sucker. You'll love to see it. And I'm sure I will absolutely love to taste it. It's great not to have some tips for a change too. Let's tuck in. I want to get on the, oh, the cheesy size. There's a bit sticking out. I thought it was all on one side. Let's do it. On first bite, it reminds me, I forgot to tell you, we got chicken sold on this guy. I won the um, scallops. It tastes amazing. It's probably the best chicken sold I've ever tasted already. How does it hit? It's actually not as good as I thought it was going to be. That's okay. I'm not going to say run out and do it, but maybe just with one it would have been better. Although, I'm not sure if I've even tried the second one yet. Anyway, it was worth a try. It ain't disgusting, but it ain't busting either. Somewhere in between. Now, of course, I don't think $7.20 for that fillet of fish is very good value. But, talking about good value, those potato scallops, if I had bought them on their own, were only 80 cents each. That ain't too bad these days. Most are a dollar or more, and usually more. Actually, the more I eat it, the more that potato is kicking in, giving it a nice texture, nice flavour. It ain't bad. The more I eat it, the more I'm loving it. Let's go in for another one. Just got a nice hit of chicken salt then. Now guys, let me know in the comments or give it a crack one time if you like. Go in and buy a hamburger combo from your local takeaway if that's what you want to do. If you like supporting your locals and getting in there and giving them a crack. Ask them instead of chips, can you get potato scallops? See what they say. You might be onto a winner just like I am here. Totally over chips at the moment. So well worth a try, does it in, in a almost good way, it's not bad, worth a try I reckon. So we got a outstanding amount of flavours here because next we're going to have tomato, onion, um, beetroot, so plenty of variety, plenty of flavour here, pretty decent feed. Potato scallops on it, and we've got the beef patty, BBQ sauce. This should be a total winner, but 
before we do all that, let's get on to our little beverageino. And today's beverageino is proudly brought to you by Busy Corner Takeaway in Lithgow. If you're ever in the area, guys, give them a crack. They've done all right today. Pretty decent prices too. Even though they've gone up like everyone else recently. I haven't been there for a while, but they have gone up since the last time. They're still doing better than... <laughs> they've still got better prices than a lot of people at the moment. Let's crack it open and give it a swig. And in these sad times we live in, you know we haven't got the coat glass anymore. But we'll use this guy. Whee! Bit of a head on it. Whoa, man! I didn't even shake it up. Wait till that settles. Jubilee. They just didn't have much variety of drinks as far as the cans go. They had mothers and stuff like that. Nice tea, but not much variety, but I'm okay. They had everyone's favourite. Good old Coke, so that's the main thing. Now this guy. Time to wrap the old laughing gear around this one. I don't know which side to start on. I might start where that little scallop is because I don't want it to fall out. And on first bite, I'm already getting that distinctive flavour of beetroot. And you did see how much was on there, which is okay. I like my beetroot. Let me get some of that tomato though. Lettuce, nice and crunchy, nice and fresh. Even without the potato scallop in there, that distinctive old school eats while just plain burger flavour. You'd love to taste it. So guys, we got a pretty decent feed here. We did all right from the busy corner takeaway. Maccas, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it's never going to be cheap unless you've got a deal or some sort of thing going on, which I didn't have one today. They've been a bit slack at the moment. But this guy, total winner, with or without the potato scallop, totally on point. So this is starting to get a little bit too real. <laughs> I probably won't put you through any more of it. That's what you want from your hamburger. You want it to be messy. You want it to be tasty. And this is a total winner. Winner, winner, old school burger. So guys, I'm going to have a moose. I won't put you through any more of this torture <laughs> of me eating this. <laughs> but I am enjoying it and I'm a happy little chappy and... We've done all right today, and I definitely won't keep any of this for Ron. And like I said earlier, I really do have a bloke size hunger. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, get over to Aussie. Hooroo. Stay fresh. Stay as fresh as this burger, and it is pretty fresh and phantasmagorical.